Hey everybody, welcome to TalkusToGeeks.com. Justin here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the video game Tour de France 2019. As always, I give you a brief synopsis and overview of the game, so here we go. Experience all the passions of Lead the Tour de France and conquer the Covenant Yellow Jersey. Play the greatest riders on this gorgeous roads of La Grande. Attack, give orders to your teammates, choose the best trajectory, manage your stamina, and make the right decisions to lead your team all the way to the top. Race through the immersive backdrops, spectacular descents and challenge mode, build your dream team in pro team mode, loco, and co-op versus modes as well. And this game is available strictly for the PS4 and the Xbox One. And honestly, this is like actually the first time I've ever played a game like this, and I actually did uh, enjoy it for what it was. Um, this right here, what I'm going to show you really quickly, is the pro leader mode, which is the mode I think most of the gamers are going to be playing because you get to control your own bike and really control your own team, which is pretty cool. And as you can see here, you get to select any type of strut designs that you want to do, choose which country that you're going to represent. Obviously, I'm from the U.S., so I'm going to represent the good old United States. And then from there, you're able to change a little bit of the skin tone of your character. The only problem with this is that I, it's a little disappointing pointing with this aspect when it comes to creating your biker I would have wished we had um, a little bit more effort and detail into this uh, you get to choose what face template it is but you can't really see what the face template looks like you can't really customize the color of your shirts you can't customize skin tone to the point that you want to have a particular shade of gray you know sh a darker shade uh, so it's not really as in depth when it comes to crazy. It's just kind of like, okay, choose your template, change the skin tone, change the color of what you want, put the height and weight and everything else like that. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't really do much. And you're going to see that when it comes, to, when you um, see that graphically when it comes to the other riders in here. Um, I know this is probably a budget game, so they probably don't have such a huge budget to make every rider have a different face. But when you have a game like this, that kind of does need to come into play here. You're able to choose your stats here, and as you can see, like uh, your stats of how your speed's going to be and, and, and various things like that, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, your strategy, which I'm doing right now. And then we get to the game where you're actually gonna play. And I actually do like some of the presentation here where you have the coach telling you, okay, we're not going to win this one, but what we need to do, we need to at least be at least the top 10 or the top five. So that does give you like, okay, it does give you some set of goals for you to aim for, which I thought worked very well. Especially for someone like me who has never played a game like this, that I did appreciate. It's like, okay, I, I already know I'm not gonna be like the top seed guy here but i can at least strive to get to number 10 and everything else and that's what you see a little bit with the controls um speaking of the controls when we get to the gameplay which we're about to i'm about to show you i really did enjoy the controls here the controls are very smooth when it comes to pedaling steering and it's actually a very strategic game here which is something i didn't expect i'm thinking i'm just gonna pedal pedal to the metal no this is a very strategic game and as you can see what i was talking about with the template with the faces see how everybody's face is the same it would have been nice i know that it is probably crazy um to think that they're gonna have every single biker because look how much bikers people are here and for what i really do have to say is that for the amount of bikers on here the frame rate doesn't slow down at all which is pretty cool but the animation at times, it feels a little bit stiff with that. Uh, you, you notice a couple of clippings in the animation department, especially when you start to pick up a little bit more spe spe uh, speed. But for the most part, I was pretty impressed that the frame rate stayed together, even at 30 FPS, 60 FPS. It, it works very, very well, and I could really appreciate that with all these guys that it works um, really good. Textures when it comes to the courses, the background, nice use of lighting as you can see with the sun here and on um, the background so the lighting is very 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 well done um also from the sound department it's very lacking i would at least appreciate it. some type of commentary some type of music it's just very bland and generic but i guess it's really going for that authentic feel of actual tour de france so i would definitely you know 
when I was playing this, I was playing it with actual music from my phone just to get something or just get some type of commentary. Just comments from here and there from the coach or, or just an or announcer or something like that. But it would have been nice to get a little bit more presentation to make me really feel immersed in this. But I wasn't really as immersed as I thought I was going to be once the whole race started. But there, actually, let me go back to a little bit of the strategy and strategic elements here. You have to definitely, like any type of race, you have to keep your balance of your stamina. And as you can see with the red here and the blue there, that is telling you your power and your stamina and how you refill. So you got to make sure you're constantly drinking water or, or, or drinking your energy boost to constantly keep there. Because if you tire yourself out, you are going to just like what happened with me, just tire myself out. We have somebody here that is trying to pass me. So I'm trying to pick up the pace here and try to stay in the front first place that I am right now. And that actually is a really good strategy. And then as um, later on in different modes, you get to command your team. You can tell them to pick up the pace or, you know, strategize. You can also follow kind of like the wind speed of your team and kind of piggyback over of him and then thrust over to the um, past them to try to get past everybody to be number one. So overall, it's uh, the gameplay wise for what the game is initially going for and what the gameplay has for you really works very well for this type of game so if you're used to this type of gameplay and game elements uh, i would definitely recommend it if this is your type of game this is not your cup of tea however the lack of presentation graphics is okay gameplay i mean it, it's cool for what it is i mean um, this is this is something if you're really into like the lot of detail friends you're gonna have an absolute blast playing your favorite bikers and everything else like that but I would like to have a little bit more meat on this um, in this game, a little bit more to do. Um, they do give you enough to do, especially in this pro pro team mode here, pro leader mode as well. Um, there's enough seasons and just um, basic exhibition races for those who are interested. They do give you that much, but I would like I would like a little bit more on the presentation forefront, a little bit um, better um, customization purposes especially if we're creating our own bikers and it, it would just been pretty cool but overall i'm gonna give this um a c plus um if or in a wait for sale wait for it on to be on sale it's not something i will jump out the gate to get but it's pretty decent and it's pretty good for those who are into this type of thing this is justin from metagasageeks.com saying later days i will catch you on the next one peace